Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name is Marie and I'm with Sumo Learn. My mission today is to introduce you to Sumo's Threat Intel Quick Analysis app. For new users, a Sumo app is a set of ready to run searches and dashboards for a particular type of data source. Apps get you up and running fast so you can start to understand and analyze log and metric data as soon as you start collecting it. Let's have a look. Threat Intel correlates your log data from any source with indicators of compromise from the CrowdStrike Threat Intelligence database. That database has information about known threats, referred to as indicators of compromise, or IOCs. There are a variety of IOC types. they are things like IP addresses, email addresses, or URLs that have been associated with malicious activity or malware. The integration of the CrowdStrike database with Sumo allows you to search your log data for IOCs. The overview dashboard shows the threat count for six key IOCs, namely IP addresses, file names, URLs, email addresses, domains, and hashes. The upper right panel shows the total number of log lines that have been scanned for threats. Threat by malicious confidence might bear a little explaining. Malicious confidence is the confidence level that a threat is malicious. Values can be high, medium, low, and unverified. Unverified typically is an IP address that was associated with a past threat. Given that IP addresses are dynamic, past usage isn't um, proof that it's currently being used in a malicious way, hence such threats are labeled unverified. And at the bottom, there's a line chart that shows threats over time. Let's drill down and take a look at threats of a particular type. This is the IP dashboard. On it, we see a total count of IP threats and where geographically those threats occurred. Threat breakdown by sources shows the um, type of log data where the threat was detected. There would be a threat breakdown by actor if actors had been assigned to these threats, which they have not been. The actor is the bad guy um, behind a threat and is identified by a code name that indicates a nation state or an activist or criminal group. For instance, Panda is the code name for China, Kitten's the code name for Iran. So we also have a panel with threats by malicious confidence, threats over time, and threats over time by source. The threat table lists um, individual threats and key information about each. So I see that I have threats for which the malicious confidence is high. I'd like to learn more about those threats. To do so, I'll run one of the searches that comes with the application. High malicious IP threats. As its name implies, this query returns a list of IP threats for which malicious confidence is high. There's a lot of good information here. I'll just point out a couple of things. This column, the raw column, contains a JSON object that describes the threat. Most inf interesting information to me right now is the malware family. Um, and uh, the message column is the actual message where the threat was detected. So my next step will be immediately to go online and do some investigation about NJRAT. Uh, it's malware I'm not currently familiar with. Um, but now that I, I, I know I'm um, affected by it, I'll do that in investigation. So I've already installed the app myself. When you install it yourself, go to the apps catalog. Um, you can do a search by threat and uh, it'll pop up. 
one important fact. When you add the app to your library, you'll be prompted to supply source category, the source categories of the data that you want to correlate with CrowdStrike data. So it's important when you add the app to your library that you define those source categories. I hope this has been useful, and I really appreciate your listening. And for more information about Threat Intel Quick Analysis, you could go to our Learn tab, click Docs, and that will take you to our help site. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.